Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Miss Tamika. I upload videos once a week, which is Sunday, and then I also throw in a bonus video throughout the week. And with that being said, you all, I am here to share my Weight Watchers update. Yes, I'm finally taking the time to sit down and film this here video. So if y'all want to hear more about my Weight Watchers experience, then y'all know what y'all gotta do. Y'all gotta keep watching. Yeah, you gotta keep watching. And before you keep watching, please don't forget to click on that subscribe button. I'll wait a few seconds. It'll only take a few seconds and it's free, y'all. Like it's free. So yeah. So I am here to share a updated Weight Watchers video. If y'all don't already know, or if y'all new to my channel, um, I have been, been doing Weight Watchers since 2017. I started, I want to say maybe, I think the July of 2017. It's been a good three strong years that I can really say I can like speak on my experience with Weight Watchers. I have posted previous updated um, Weight Watchers videos, but I just feel like, you know, every so often it's you know with things changing because Weight Watchers has changed a whole lot I'm not following the plan a hundred percent like I used to I may be like at 40 to maybe 50 percent following the plan I mean I still incorporate everything that I have done to lose the weight but I don't follow the plan and when I say I don't follow the plan a hundred percent like I used to meaning that I don't scan everything like I used to I don't um, measure and do all of that only because I've been on it for over three years so I'm kind of by me doing it for almost three years I know portion like I know my portion size now I had a few questions I didn't get a lot but the questions that I did get I'm going to go ahead and answer them so I won't be all over the place because, you know, sometimes I can be all over the place and forget. I did get a few questions under my picture that I posted. And then I had people ask me things before and I remember jotting them down in my notes. So if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my previous notes. So one question was, what plan did you start with? They asked me what plan did I start with. Like I said, they have changed a whole lot. Like they have a new plan with like green, blue, and everything like that. Like I'm going to tell you what plan I'm currently on. Um, because if I didn't mention I am lifetime, I did reach my lifetime goal. I think it was like the end of 2017. And you can set your goal according to your height. Whatever your height is, you can set your goal. And if the goal is too low because I noticed that some of the goals are too low. Like I don't want to walk around looking sick. If you get what I'm saying, if you feel like the Weight Watchers goal is set too low. You can get a doctor's note stating that, Hey, you know, this person, instead of her losing this amount of weight, we, you know, her doctors recommend her only losing this. So if you have a doctor's note, they will approve that. And I know because I did work at Weight Watchers. So I know firsthand that, as long as you have a doctor's note, they will approve your actual goal weight that you and your doctor feel comfortable with. So if you didn't know, this is the Weight Watchers app. And like I said, I don't even go on here like that to even know what's new. I think I'm on the, um, I don't even know how you find out y'all to be completely honest because I've been on it so long that I don't even have to follow this here program anymore with me being lifetime you do have to weigh in once a month you don't have to weigh in once a week if you feel like that's the issue with you know having to come in because a lot of sometimes people were complaining that they had to come in once a week but i didn't mind the once a week because it did keep me motivated and keep me on track and sometimes i see myself slipping sometimes because i don't have that motivation behind me because again i don't go every week the whole corona a lot of stores have closed they weren't accepting you to come in and it was a little difficult at the time because you know when everything shut down you couldn't go in the way in so that was another issue i want to say let me see i'm on a blue plan like i said i don't know a whole lot about these hair plans because 
I've been on it for so long that I just follow what had you know what works for me. I don't eat the same breakfast as I used to drink a coffee back when I joined Weight Watchers only because when I drank a good cup of coffee in the morning I was fine throughout the day so the only time I ended up having to eat was maybe like dinner time I did used to snack in between but I used to snack like I was heavy with it like I was snacking healthy fruit vegetables um uh, smoothies and all that but y'all mm -mm, being honest I don't follow it like I used to but I will say I have maintained my weight I am down to 140 when I did hit go away I think I was like about 130 I was almost 120 something I'm in between like long as I don't go over 141 I'm good because like I said I didn't want to lose too much weight and I do like the weight that I am because I went from a size what was it 12 no I was up at a 14 16 I went all the way down to a size 6 back when I was at 130 I was down to a 4 I don't know what it is but my mom wasn't letting me buy fours or six because I just felt like I don't know I just I'm not I just didn't feel like I was I couldn't believe it if if you get what I'm saying it was like a mind thing I could fit a extra small or a small or a medium well I could fit an extra small and a small I do buy some smalls like far as pajamas some of my pajamas are a size small because they fit really nice I don't know y'all that's one thing I struggle with a clothing size because like I said I think it was mine over matter I just felt like girl you a large you know but in reality I was a I was really a small and a medium and now the now it's funny because when I go into the stores I you know I always go to the sale rack I used to always see all these little too small clothes and everything and it was always um, you know like I said the too small clothes well now since I can fit the two small clothes, everything on the clearance racks are the extra larges and larges and all that. And I'm like, really? Work really hard to lose all this weight. And y'all y'all don't have my sizes anymore. Let me go back to the question. See, I done got off a topic that quick. Oh, so she asked, what plan did you start with? I just started with the, I think it was any particular plan. I just started with the traditional weight watchers plan where you um scanned everything you wrote everything down you use the app for everything if you go to sign up for weight watchers they have different types of plans so you may want to speak to someone if you're looking to join weight watchers because they can go over the different plans they have and then they also have in the weight watchers app like a quiz that you can take where it can kind of gear you to the best plan that works for you what was the next question someone asked when did you start like i said it was 2007 it was july of 2017 I'm not 100% about July, but I know it was the summer of 2017. And then also, my favorite thing that I used to always do with Weight Watchers, like in the morning time after I have a cup of coffee, if for some reason I still want to breakfast, um, the oatmeal. Now, I'm not a big oatmeal fan, but during Weight Watchers, I incorporated oatmeal because it kept me full throughout the day and the best oatmeal that worked for me was the Quaker's weight control oatmeal that oatmeal was like the best that's the only oatmeal that I would get I would get the variety flavors or maple uh, I think it's maple brown sugar or apple and cinnamon that there control my appetite like curve my appetite when I was hungry and what helped me to enjoy oatmeal a lot more is like sometimes I would put banana in my oatmeal I would cr uh, crumble a little bit of granola times honey like I would have to jazz my oatmeal up because sometimes I just can't eat plain oatmeal if y'all get what I'm saying I also when I did Weight Watchers in 2017 well started they had like a lot of zero foods like I was always eating a lot of zero foods like um, salmon fish baked chicken anything baked and that's what made me switch on over to the air fryer because of the fact that I like fried food and y'all know with the air fry you can still enjoy fried food you don't have to actually fry it in grease so if you have an air fryer y'all know what I'm talking about that I do Oh, and portion control portion control portion control portion control always when I first started I was using like my daughter's small plates 
so whatever couldn't fit on that plate i just wouldn't eat I used to start off with small plates like if you don't have small plates you could probably buy like trays i heard someone say ikea sell them like you can buy trays where you can like separate your food where you can have small portions and then have the big side for your main course which is like your meats and your whatever you have i did weight watchers vegetables was zero so all the meats and the different types of fish was zero so like i said back then it was a lot of zero food that worked for me and i think they still have a plan for that but it's something different said if you're into joining weight watchers just look it up to go ahead and get the accurate information because like i said I'm not behind the scenes of Weight Watchers anymore, so I'm not even sure. I said before, I don't follow the plan like I used to because my goal was to become Lifetime and then also change my lifestyle to where as though I didn't have to rely on Weight Watchers, if you get what I'm saying. Like, I didn't want to rely on Weight Watchers to the point where if for some reason I fell off where I couldn't become. Because if you go over, like, say your goal weight 130 and you go over two points you will end up having to pay so i don't want to be paying you know for weight watchers if i really don't have to so that's another reason why like i said i tried to wean myself off of weight watchers but i still go into weighing just to be able to stay lifetime and free if you get what i'm saying losing weight with weight watchers was a lifestyle for me not just trying to lose weight because i want to fit in a dress or try to lose weight because i want to look good to you know take pictures no it was a lifestyle change for me because like i said before back in 2017 i joined weight watchers because i was told i was pre-diabetic and that was like a a sign for me to get my shit i was like oh no, we not gonna do that. It do run in my family. So when I was told I was pre-diabetic, I jumped on it. I didn't I didn't incorporate exercising. If I did, I probably would have lost a lot more weight. Being on the program for so long, I do want to start incorporating a little bit of exercise just to tighten up my thighs and my arms and things like that because i do have loose skin and it's not because of the weight loss because i was always small at the top i was just a little heavier down the bottom area and around my stomach but like now i'm at the point where i'm ready to tighten up and make everything right so you know if one day i ever can afford a tummy tuck i'll be ready and prepared because i do want a tummy tuck i had three c-sections and no matter how many crunches and sit-ups you do that ain't going nowhere see what else i wanted to look, talk about oh and if you do decide to join weight watchers having an in-home scale is a plus i just got my in-home scale just recently i will try and link my link mine's down below but they do have one that's affiliated with weight watchers where it's like everything is all connected they want to look in something like that but if not you can just buy a simple digital scale because with that scale it's connected to my iphone i weigh on that app i'll just transfer it to my weight watchers app what else i wanted to say i'm trying not to make this video too long you all but i just wanted to you know share my journey on weight watchers i don't regret um joining weight it helped me to reach my goal like i'm 40 something years old and looking back i am so glad i joined weight watchers because i love i love the new me didn't have a problem with the old me but this new me honey i'm in love with her like i love her i do just in love you all so then i also forgot to mention um meal prep prep meal prep meal prep if you click on my amazon store i do have some meal prep um items in my uh amazon store because that's another thing that really really helped me out I didn't do five day meal prep only because after a while i got tired of eating the same thing so what i would do i may have the same size but i would switch up the meat i didn't mind the size but sometimes i got tired of salmon for five days or fish so i would switch it up like sometimes i may have salmon and then the other days i may have a uh, grilled chicken so i would switch the uh meats the meat side up but sometimes keep the same far as the sides and then i also would make asparagus um green uh broccoli string beans roasted potatoes and if you know those meal prep containers they have like small little compartments so you couldn't fill uh fill them a whole lot but it was enough to fill you up also with me changing the way i eat 
I get full quick. I don't eat as much as I used to. Also, I forgot another thing that helped me was taking my time eating. Because sometimes I didn't I wasn't a fast eater, but I noticed sometimes you know how you just eat, eat, eat and don't enjoy yourself. Like now I really, really take my time and eat to the point where everybody done ate and I'm still eating. With me saying that cutting up my food i know i'm not a little kid but y'all when i used to cut up my food that was another thing that helped out like i would have two pieces of like a chicken breast like shaped like a chicken finger or a chicken tender i would cut that up and of course when you cut that up it's in all little pieces and it was only two I felt like i was eating a lot like for instance a pizza one slice of pizza and I would cut it up and I felt like I was eating more slices than just one or no more than two loaves. Sometimes if I'm hungry and I want to enjoy myself, I may eat uh, more than one slice. So if I do two and you cut them up, that's four slices. But in reality, you only eating two. So that's another thing that helped me out a whole lot. I don't care where I was. At. I could be in a restaurant. I would take and cut my meat up. You know, of course, I don't have scissors in the restaurant, but yeah, I would take my time and cut my meat up and enjoy my dinner because, like I said, I just felt like that was a way of me be able to get more in my food, but just only eating just that one piece of breast or that one piece. Of so that right there helped out a whole, whole lot. Even in my meal preps, if I'm making salmon, I will cut my salmon up or slice it up with a knife and then I'll put it inside my meal prep containers and that was my dinner. Fruit, I enjoy fruit because back then on the planet I w was on, fruit was zero point. Yeah, I think that's everything. Don't scan or um, jot down everything, but I would highly recommend if you're new to, if you're new to Weight Watchers, it's a must that you scan everything write down everything and everything is here in the app like the app has got they have updated this app so much and also if you scan your foods every day and work out and do all of those you receive like work out like um weight watchers points where you can redeem them for weight watchers gift it accumulate enough points where i was able to uh, redeem them for like this here Weight Watchers that pouch that I got that's what I use to store like all my Weight Watchers stuff like my um, charms my books and the little pamphlets they used to give you like they don't even give you that anymore like when I went back after the um, after they opened after the uh, corona they don't even give you those little booklets anymore they said everything is on the app it has changed a whole lot and then back when i was weighing in used to can wear socks now they tell you have to wear shoes and i'm like really weight watchers because of course we know shoes hold weight with some sneakers on how is that going to work she was like well people um been using uh the pedicure flip-flops flops you get from the nail salon and i'm like hell i barely can walk in them when i'm in the nail salon let alone to come i guess you i guess people probably wear shoes and then take their shoes off and put them on but i'm like really weight watchers just kept the sock thing like i didn't mind the whole sock thing because i used to keep socks in that little pouch so yeah i don't know maybe every center is different like i said the particular center that i go to they require you to wear shoes if you are on weight watchers let me know how you like in the new new program because you're not on the program that i was back in 2017 but let me know um you know what program y'all on i think like i said i think i'm on the blue program let me know how y'all liking it and if y'all have any other questions please don't hesitate to leave them down in the comment section and you know i got you i know i was all over the place because i really didn't know where to start but i tried to I tried to share as much as I could as far as my experience with Weight Watchers. Like I said, everybody's different. Everybody may get different experience. Like I said, I give Weight Watchers two thumbs up because if it wasn't for Weight Watchers, I wouldn't have been able to lose this weight because losing a weight is the easy part. Maintaining it is the hard part. And I tell you, I have struggled. I have my struggle days, but again, I don't regret Weight Watchers. Struggle days, I still seem to do good and i'm proud of myself i'm really 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 proud of myself and with that being said you all please give this video a big thumbs up because it helps out my channel and also before you go please don't forget to click on that subscribe button and that notification bell so y'all can be notified each week when your girl uploads videos and until next time i will talk to you later bye